One word for you, nano. We take a look at the TP-Link 150 megabit wireless in nano router. This is model TLWR702N, taking it to small extremes. Welcome to another product review from Spike Studio. Once again, we are back with something cool from TP-Link. We've done a few things from them. This is their new, and I shouldn't say too new, but they have a couple ones, but the 150 megabit wireless and nano router model TLWR702N. One thing I like about TP-Link is their packaging. Uh, very slick, very simple. As you can see, slides out. Now, one thing I was curious about is the minute size of this and what it can do for you. So we're going to take a look at it. I'll tell you what it can do. We'll show some management screens in just a minute. But let me pull it out for you and give you an idea of the size. And I know in the opening you may have seen it for a brief second. But this nano router, uh, for example, here's a HTC Android phone. Gives you an idea of the router itself. Go a little bit smaller, the new BlackBerry Z10. Gives you an idea of the size of this thing. So very minute, very small very powerful. What comes in the packaging with it, then we'll talk about what it does. Uh, they do a good job of extra fluffy stuff as you go. What they give you is a USB cable that is also part of the charge. I shouldn't say charge, part of the power. It runs on power. It's not portable for charge. This is a very small cable. It's only about a foot and a half, maybe, maybe two feet at the most. I didn't measure, but I can tell you, you better be close to the plug when you need the other part because what you're going to do is plug it in with this ethernet. They send you a nice flat ethernet cable, also very short as well. The power part that plugs into the USB for powering it up, and then a couple quick start guides, which we don't care about. So what do we get with this thing? This is a four-way possible router bridge access point and repeater mode. You can change it to any one of these. As you can see by the management screen that I'll put up here, you're able to quickly choose between them. Now here's the catches. The catch is to get into this if you have not already pre-configured it for where you're going, you must manually set the IP address on your device to work with the router, meaning you need to set a 192.168.0. something inside of its range. It runs on 192.168.0.254, which we'll put there. Once you connect to it manually, you can make it any mode you want. What does that mean for you? The coolness is you go to a hotel, you pull this out of your pocket with the power, small plug there is, you plug it into the wall, and you plug the ethernet from the hotel into this. This is now an access point using their DHCP, which means by default, this will now assign you an IP address, which is why we had to manually do it. What you had to do is let it get the assumption from the hotel itself. If you put this in repeater mode, you would go in and configure this with the same access point name as the hotel's access. For the Wi-Fi, this would repeat their signal. So this will actually grab and repeat, which is awesome again. You want to put it in bridge mode, the other one, DHCP is off by default. So if you want to manually configure it, you have to configure your device, connect, set it, then you can go about your business. That was the only downside. What does it use to get into it? Admin admin is the username and password when you get to the router, but to get to it, it's very tiny. I should tell you, on the back, the SSID, if you think this is a nano, now look, look at how tiny the text is on the back of that thing. So this is a nano to begin with, the text is nanoer. I don't know if that's a word, but it's nanoer. The SSID is basically tp-link underscore and the last part of the uh, serial number of the device itself, then the password is part of the serial number of the device itself. They make it really easy, so you may want to change that in case this is laying around. Anyone could actually get into your device, uh, set your own, but if you're in a hotel room, no one's going to see it, so you won't have to worry about that. So the TP-Link WR, let me pull this up again for you, the TP-Link TLWR702N Nano Wireless Router uh, Awesome performance. I've gotten good range out of it, even for its size. It's great for a hotel room or a small part of your house or somewhere else. It's not made for large scale, but it will handle multiple connections. We're not talking eight like a hotspot. We're talking like a router. I put about 12 on it. Didn't have any performance degradation at all or performance issues. Took a second longer to get the address the more devices I added, but not noticeably longer. Now we're talking minutes. We're talking a few seconds longer, but I could see it in my own head at least. It seemed that way mentally counting. So keep in mind, Nano Router, another one from TP-Link. We want to thank them and look for all the product reviews from Spike Studio.